Hello and welcome to this A-level chemistry video where I'm hoping to help you to prepare for A-level chemistry paper one for the AQA course. Specifically, I'm going to be helping you to prioritise the topics that I think you should revise. I've done an in-depth analysis of every A-level chemistry paper there's been and I'm going to use this insight to help you to answer the following questions. Since there are 15 topics that can be assessed on paper one, it will be really useful to know which topics come up the most often. And then also, which topics are worth the most marks on average across the papers? Is there a topic that comes up more consistently than others? And from within these larger topics, are there some parts of topics that come up more often than others? The first thing that you need to do when planning your paper one revision is to make sure that you know what could be assessed on this paper. This is a physical and inorganic chemistry paper. That means that almost all of the physical chemistry can be assessed with the exception of kinetics and the rate equation and all of inorganic chemistry can be assessed along with the relevant practical skills which will be particularly required practicals but not exclusively. Paper 1 typically contains between 8 and 10 questions, often covering more than one topic in one question. But which topics have been assessed the most frequently? What you can see here is that there are 8 topics that have been assessed every year across each of those eight papers. So when deciding which topics you ought to prioritise for your revision, this is a good place to start because these topics are assessed on paper one every single year. Another way of organising your revision priorities is to see how often a topic has been one of the top three most important questions on a paper. And what I mean by that is that these three topics had more marks available for them than any of the other topics in that particular year. And what you can see here is that transition metals and reactions of inorganic aqueous solutions has been in the top three topics seven Seven times out of eight. And then acids and bases has been one of the top three most important topics six times out of eight. Thermodynamics has been significantly important five of the eight times. And then amount of substance and atomic structure make up the rest of the top five. And what you can actually see that's almost more important than anything else here is that those five topics are the only topics that have ever been in the top three biggest number of marks available topics. If we look now at which topics carry the most marks on average for a paper one paper across those eight years, you can see that transition metals and reactions of inorganic aqueous solutions is worth on average 14.6% of the marks for paper one. Acids and bases is not too far behind carrying 13.2% of the marks for paper one on average, thermodynamics 12.3, followed by amount of substance and atomic structure on about 11% each, and then electrode potentials is 7.1%. This will help you to organise your priorities for your revision for paper one. But for additional context, these six topics that I'm highlighting here in purple have been worth, on average, about 70% between them. And for paper one, on average, 67.5% is a grade A. So if you got every mark available on a paper for these six topics, that would be a grade A. And if you expanded it down to the next two topics below that, you would get just under 83% and on average to get an A star on paper one, you need just over 80%. If we look at a graph now about the total number of marks that have been available for each topic over these eight years, you can see the topics on the left hand side that carry the most marks and are the most consistent, particularly the transition metals and acids and bases, the different coloured bars for the different years of paper are pretty consistent. And even thermodynamics, where you can see the light green bar from three years ago is missing from thermodynamics, that's because that came up quite a lot on paper three that year. So still very important topics to revise. 
And as we work our way to the right hand side, you can see that the topics carry fewer and fewer marks, but also they are a bit less consistently assessed. There are more frequent gaps in terms of some topics not being assessed in a particular year for paper one. The 15 topics that could be assessed on paper one can be broken down further into subtopics. And of the 65 subtopics that there are, you can see here which ones typically carry the highest number of marks on average on a paper one paper. So at top of the list comes KP calculations and units. So that's from the equilibrium constant topic. That's seven marks on average per paper across the eight years. And then comes the mass spectrometer, both the theory about it and the associated calculations. Also seven marks on average per paper. And then in third position comes buffer solutions, the explanations and the calculations. And then you can see that there are four topics coming up after that that carry four marks on average each year for those particular subtopics. There were some subtopics that were not assessed in 2024, and this makes them slightly more likely to be assessed in 2025, although of course no guarantees. Interestingly, there was nothing to do with buffers in 2024, and that still carries the highest number of marks on average for a subtopic. And so that means that it's quite likely to come up this year and probably to be worth quite a large number of marks. Weak acids also didn't come up last year and neither did fuel cells. And then we get some inorganic chemistry subtopics. So period three oxides reacting with water, transition metal isomerism and transition metal colour chemistry, those not assessed in 2024 and so perhaps slightly more likely to come up in 2025. In conclusion, let me repeat first of all that these are predictions based on the patterns of past papers and that doesn't mean that this pattern will continue into the future so we need to make sure that we revise everything where possible but as you get closer and closer to the exam you will need to know where to prioritise your efforts for the greatest impact. To support you with your revision for the conclusions that I've made here, I have put links to relevant content videos in the description for this video. And as a final thought, if these topics do not come up with great emphasis on paper one, remember that the topics can appear on paper three, so your revision will definitely be worthwhile. Okay, that's the end of this video. Good luck, everybody.